September the 8th, uh, 2020. It's gonna be my first time, chance to get out and get up in a tree. Uh, I've been hunting with my boy first few days of the season. We've gotten real close to getting him on a deer, six years old. Uh, range limit of 10 yards. Uh, we got real close last night. We had a doe to come in and uh, just kind of made us loop around our blind. <clears throat> Stayed out there 14, 15 yards and until she faced us and come up there to the feeder. Uh, it ain't always easy getting them at 10 yards or less. Even if it is on a feeder, it's hard to trick them, not to hear them, six year old boy. But uh, I was proud of him last night. She gave him a broadside shot at about 13 yards, but he knows his limit's 10, so he didn't try it. Uh, then she come in, faced him for five minutes off and on. He drew back on her several times, but never did have that shot opportunity and she spun and run away. So today's my first day to get out there. Uh, it's hot. I'm just going in blind. Hadn't really spent a lot of time up here scouting this year. Uh, hunted this spot for years, so kind of got an idea what I'm wanting to do. I know where the beans is at. I know kind of know what to expect. So basically, I'm going in for an observation sit with the hopes of being close enough to shoot one. But if not, maybe give me an idea where I need to be on the next one. So hang in there and go with me. guys got into my spot got a little land owner check there Just wasn't sure who I was so anyway I got in here I'm gonna head on in here kind of scout my way in down this road bed try to find some tracks I'm gonna be overlooking one side's gonna be hopefully still green beans green soybeans and one side's corn with a road that runs around on both sides of it just try to find me a spot where I can watch. So let me get in here and get set up. I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's five o'clock. <clears throat> I scouted my way in here. I know where I want it to be. So I got corn to my right. I got beans to my left. I got a block of timber behind me. I'm hoping to catch those deer. Just See if I they come out in the beans, but the beans are starting to turn a little. This road, there's a road bed runs right down along these beans. <clears throat> Go through a gap in the fence and come right back up through here. Anyway, there's a lot of tracks in the road. I don't know if they're being made at night, but uh, my hope is something to come down the edge of this corn using this road to travel through it. Or something steps out in these beans that way I can get a better look of where they're at and I've set up on them from there so hang in there well that ain't good the road's being used this evening landowner's coming through here cutting through to go visit your neighbor I reckon oh well I'm just glad I get to hunt uh, I'm sure those deer get used to that but It is what it is. I guess we'll just wait and see after they pass. They're going to make the loop down through the, go the gap down here. They'll be coming right past right here. Here they come. They never even knew I was here. That's credit to the to the saddle. I never had a clue. Never had a clue. Drove right, drove right underneath me. Never knew I was sitting here. Hopefully the deer will do that same thing. Maybe it won't be a giant deer next time. Kind of like the hunting in the median of the interstate. <laughs>
didn't even think gators existed in Kentucky. Guess I was wrong. Well, you can tell. You can tell by looking around. Weather ain't looking good. I'm going to try to run down in there right quick and get in the tree and try to get a few hours in the tree before the uh, bottom falls out. But <clears throat> might not even make it a tree for that happen. So we'll see what happens. Just getting everything set up in the tree <clears throat> and it's starting to rain which might be a good thing it might keep these mosquitoes down they're just about ready to pack me off <clears throat> all right while we got here got a corn field actually it's right in front of me but <clears throat> i'm expecting i'll do be back here in these woods got a swamp right over here to my left a field area to my right and then a field area behind me. <clears throat> There's a creek that runs through these woods. It gets real thick. <clears throat> a little creek bottom. It's pretty flat country, but we're talking about three or four feet elevation change. And uh, it's wetter in there. It's growed up real thick. And I think that's where these deer are going to be bedded. <clears throat> what I'm hoping them to do is come up through this creek bottom leading up in here to this swampy area and uh, the swamp is after about 60 yards usually it pushes deer this way a little bit to make their way around it so I'm hoping it just brings a big old buck in this evening don't get me wrong I'd love to shoot a doe uh, the boy as you may have seen shot that velvet buck a few days ago I think three evenings ago <clears throat> What freezer space I had due to COVID-19 is now full. So if I shoot a doe, I'm going to have to go to Lowe's and buy another deep freeze right quick. I need to get one anyway because I'm going to shoot something before it's over quick. Got to make shift. Keep my camera dry. Seems to be working. It started raining pretty good as soon as I got in the tree, but everything's up here. I'm ready to rock. Cut some big old tracks coming in along the edge of that cornfield. I made a big old circle. My wind is blowing out towards that cornfield onto the neighbors. I come around that end of the cornfield about three quarters of a mile walk around it to keep the wind in my favor. I'm about 35, 40 yards in the woods, stripped up in here. Dang, mosquitoes got to eat me alive. But anyway, I know there's a couple good bucks on this farm. I did see them once. I suspect as many people that hunt up here, several probably got trail camera pictures of them, but I didn't really run no cameras up here this year. I kind of like the element of surprise. Uh, I'm not saying I'm no great hunter by no means, but I don't know. I just like to be surprised when you show up. Anyway, as far as the wind is concerned, the visibility with all the fields being in corn or yellow beans, 
I need to be in the, at least the edge of the wood, so I chose me a funnel that I think is going to catch them at some point. I mean, they're coming through here heavy. There's tracks everywhere. So, it's already late. It's about 5 o'clock now, so I'm going to shut up, get quiet, try to get still. Hope my old shiny camera bag don't give me away this evening. And hope a 140 walks through here close enough I can hit him. I ain't as good a shot as Bubba. I don't got the nerves to steal like Bubba. And I've killed a bunch more than Bubba ever dreamed of that being his first. But anyway, if you ain't if you hadn't seen that hunt, I mean I know he's my boy, but that was the most impressive thing I ever seen a six year old do. Stay that calm and collected. And yeah, I'm proud of him, so if you ain't seen that hunt, yeah, I'll probably put it as an end screen click on this one. You'll see a picture of a little boy holding a buck with a big old smile. Click on it. Watch that thing. If it don't touch your heart, I mean, as far as hunting videos, I don't think none of them will. Well guys, as you can see, I saw absolutely nothing tonight but a couple of coons, a handful of squirrels, and these dad blame, dad blame mosquitoes, so that <sighs> set from the saddle proved they wasn't in the beans, they're not in the beans. They're turning too much. And they said in the woods, I think I think these deer are in this corn, standing corn. So when I drove in there was a the farmer had started one one lap around the field, so that tells me he's testing the dryness of the corn. So hopefully sometime in the next week we don't get a lot of rain. He'll get combining this, push these deer back into the woods, where I'll be able to take advantage of them using the funnels and uh, topography to get on them entering and exiting these fields. At least that's the hope. So uh, hang in there. We'll see if we can do a little better next time.